Well, for the first time ever, you're going to see them in my glasses. That's right, I wear glasses. Um, I usually wear contacts, but I just woke up. I um, only got like three hours of sleep. I've gotten three calls just this morning. I got some calls on other days, but three calls this morning from employers. Wanting, Ziggy, get away. Wanting to interview me or uh, talk to me about um, job opportunities or hire me. They all sent me emails needing response, some within 24 hours, others a little bit more time frame to set up a schedule a meeting or something. And so, you know, I'm like, fuck it, I won't even sleep. So I get on my computer to uh, do something business related, of course, rather than conventional personal shit. And of course, um, as most people, would know by now whenever you have to do something important on the computers when you're most prone to having computer problems. Basically the problem I'm having is I have Windows 7 installed, Windows 7 64-bit Ultimate, and lately my computer just freeze randomly. I'll be doing some shit and all of a sudden my computer will freeze. So I'll control delete or something, nothing happens. About 30 seconds to a minute bearing, um, I'll get the a response and I'll resume activity. And that lasts for another minute to two minutes, sometimes longer. Of course, some days it doesn't do it at all. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a random thing, kind of dynamic. And uh, today it's just been doing it nonstop. And it's gone to the point where my, my software issue has started to cause hardware issues. So my motherboard is getting a little fucked up right now after all these reboots I'm doing. And uh, so like basically what's going on is my BIOS wouldn't even fucking load. I'd get the initial screen, but it wouldn't go past post. It would just, I'd try to enter up, enter setup or boot options, and it wouldn't load. So I unplugged all my drives, replugged them back in and shit. Finally got that working. And I finally got in a safe mode, because every time I boot in a regular mode, after the six tries I've done already, I don't get, I can't, I'm not able to get far enough to actually do shit. Um, I do have an XP partition I can boot into, but that's not really going to solve anything. The, the issue um, most likely is driver related. Um, I'm pretty stuck on the, uh, I know it's the NVIDIA driver for almost for sure now. Initially I started to think it's something with uh, one of the motherboard chipsets or something. But um, the issue's been more recent ever since I updated my NVIDIA driver. And uh, I did some research, other people having the same problem. And also at the last moment saw a kernel mode error with my NVIDIA in the bottom right hand corner. Well, I'm going to try doing that um, right now is I'm going to try uninstalling the driver and just use the Windows, let Windows do its shit. If, it, if that works, I know it's a driver related issue and then I can just um, install an old driver. It just really pisses me off how lately it seems a lot of companies will release software that doesn't, that has some sort of fucking problem and it's not, I understand that it's hard to pinpoint everyone's specifications and circumstances when making a release. And it's kind of hard to predict issues that may arise. But fucking A, dude. And of course, while in safe mode, I uninstalled my driver. And when I scan for hardware changes, it tells me device driver software was not successfully installed and it freezes on me. I mean, I, 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 it makes me wonder, like, the people that aren't computer literate, like, I feel, I feel bad for them. I mean, I, I'm pretty computer savvy, and I have shit happening to me all the time. Granted, I do a lot more on the computer than the average user. I intentionally cause issues for myself sometimes just so I can learn, but, I mean, it's ridiculous how many different computer problems, how often I can come into computer problems, um randomly. It, I, I just, it, it baffles me how the average user, how scary it must be for them when they come into computer problems and not knowing anything. I mean, luckily I can fix anything. I never have to go to anyone else, but it's still just, some of the shit I have to do to get it working is mind-blowing. Alright, thank you. You have a great day. Alright, bye. Fucking Christ, man. So, that was just a call, my fourth call of today for a job opportunity. This one's more of a project though, rather than a position. They're just wanting to contract uh, people for this project. But basically, she said that they have a, in a data center that 229 systems that they want to upgrade hardware components, data transfer, and um, replay or install, actually install the systems, set them up on the network and shit. So this just says 229 computers in data warehouse in New Braunfels, and they're gonna be it's a Thursday through Sunday thing. So it'll be 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. 
uh, about seventeen dollars an hour for 40, 40 to forty five hours. So it's, it's a small project. And I told it to be interesting. So we'll see what goes on with that. But that's four fucking emails I'm trying to respond to right now. They want my updated resume so I can do a background check and stuff as well. But I can't access my shit right now because my fucking resolution isn't right. Cause my fucking Nvidia driver sucks ball sack. Oh my god, I'm so mad. Like this all has to happen on the same day. Like as soon as I have stuff I need done today. Um, luckily I have the luxury of having a work computer at the office so I can, um, when I get to work I can do my shit, but still. Basically my Windows XP partition isn't booting. So, um, that's always wonderful to see. I haven't been booting in Windows XP in a while anyways, but I have, uh, dual boot set up on the same hard drive partitioned up. But, um, uh, that's kind of my fallback. I have live distros. I um, install. Well, actually, I have Ubuntu installed. <laughs> I guess I could use Linux. Why do you in safe mode? Uh, I'm not in safe mode actually. I uninstalled my latest video uh, card driver. driver okay. Well, what I did was I uninstalled the video card driver because I knew it was problematic, and then I ran an update, a Windows update, so I can get the Windows version of it. So I got the uh, pre-release WDDM 1.0 release. 5-3-2009. Well, this is fucking fantastic. See more contrast. King colors. High contrast. Well, I installed the Windows driver. Type and I got a black keyboard, screen. screen. Keyboard. So what I did was I pressed the Windows key U combination to get the narrator. So I can see what the key. fuck I'm mousing over. Dude, this is fucking if bullshit. Press keys repeatedly. Ignore Shut extra the fuck up, John. Keys. Text on screen. Read aloud. Narrator. No, that's probably the narrator window. Big items on the screen. Larger magnifier. Ah, fuck you. See more contrast. In colors. High contrast. Oh, no, shut the fuck up, you whore. Hey, look, we have color. Welcome to Windows 7. Display adapters. Hey, look, that, that fucking Windows one's installed. I'm just, you know what, fuck, I'm gonna uninstall the Windows version. I'm just reinstall. The fucking, uh, NVIDIA. This is the part where I try to install my drivers again. Alright. Next. Overwrite. Yes, I would like to overwrite this data. <laughs> Restart now. Cross your fingers and your legs. Oh now let's see how long this lasts before it actually freezes. So it might be a temporary fix. But hopefully by that time frame, they'll have a driver updated. But it looks like we're back in action. 